250, 500,000, 750, a million, 1.5, 2 million dollars. I don't know exactly how much money you want to make. Okay, but in this video, I'm going to break it down very simple for you exactly the process for you to visualize how to get there. Okay, and it's not going to happen as quick as you want. Okay, but it, you have to go through the process, get to a certain point, and then you can kind of flip a switch of somewhat of an autopilot situation, which is what I have in my business right now. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you so much for watching and liking and subscribing and commenting. It means so much to me. You just don't even know. All right. And I read every single comment and I respond to most of those comments. I'll tell you where I'm really active and that's Instagram DMs. I answer every single message there. There's not a DM that I don't answer on Instagram. So if you need me, if you want me, if you just want to say hi, if you have a question, if there's anything I can do for you, you just want to reach out on a personal one-on-one -on -one level, feel free to reach out there at Ricky Carruth. Also, if you have not hit my podcast up, I post there every day. It's content that is nowhere else. And I promise you that it's more value in terms of you know, information on how to succeed in real estate and business and even life in general than you'll find anywhere else. All right, comment below if you're listening to my podcast and you're finding some kind of value there. I wanna know, I wanna hear from you. Okay, so let me get into today's video here. All right, we're talking about income levels, how to achieve them, okay, and then how to at some point get to where you wanna be and then create an autopilot situation, okay? I like to refer to it as the snowball. Okay, you create a snowball, you get the momentum, it's going downhill. You know, as it's going, it starts to pick up steam, it gets larger and larger, right? Larger and larger, you keep pushing, you keep pushing, and all of a sudden it's kind of rolling on its own and it just continues to get larger and larger and larger. Okay, so that's what we want. That's how we want to visualize and see our real estate business um, as we move forward over the years. We want it to get larger and larger and larger. We want to keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing till we get to a point where it's just a monster. It's just going to roll on its own. The momentum is there. And not only that, but it continues to grow with hardly any effort whatsoever. There's one video that I really want you to watch if you haven't already. And that is how to easily close 100 deals per year. I don't care if it's your very first year. I have an agent that sold 100 properties his first year. Quintavious Burdett, all of you guys know him. I'm gonna link an interview I did here recently with Quintavious, all right? It was just last week, and uh, where we kinda got into catching up, uh, he just got married, all that good stuff. I'm gonna link it below for you guys to go watch that, but he's in his second year in real estate, and this guy is an absolute animal, okay? But he sold 100 properties in his first year simply by using his four-point system. Okay, his four point system. All right, so I want you to go check that out uh, and everything else I have below and let me know if you have any questions. Now, I've talked about this in other videos and podcasts, but I wanna reiterate it here, okay? The level of your income is gonna be dictated by the size of your database, okay? So what you want to do is you want to come in and you want to you know, work hard in the business and you wanna contact people, prospect, and build your business. When you're building your business, you're building your database. So I want you to continue to build your database. That means talking to new people to come into your database. Your database, I want you now to refer to it as your sphere. These people are now part of your sphere, right? Your sphere of influence. And I want you to use FE with everyone, every prospect. FE means family effect, okay? That means treating every person like their family and giving them that family effect, that FE. You wanna give FE to every person that you come in contact with. You wanna treat them just as if they're your mother, brother, cousin, best friend from high school. You know, the people that are closest to you, that's how you need to treat the people that you never met before, that you come in contact with, and they need to get that feeling. That you're the hardest worker out there and you're gonna do everything to make sure that they are well taken care of. Now, when you're building the spear, you're treating these people with FE, you're bringing them into your database, Okay, that database is gonna get larger and larger. Now what happens with most agents, they come into the business, they work really hard, they build their database, they build their sphere, they're prospecting, they're doing what they have to do, they're real motivated and hungry, they, they start to do some deals. Okay, they get their business up to, let's just say for example, 100,000. 
They get up to 100,000 and then they stop doing all the prospecting and talking to new people. They just rest on their database and then what happens? They make 100,000, 100,000, 100,000. Every year, 100,000, 100,000. Because once you, when you're building your database, your income is gonna grow. Once you stop building it and you just rest on your past clients and referrals, it's gonna to continue to grow slowly through the new referrals coming in that you never met. So there is a sense of growth there, but it's not exponential growth and all that growth is gonna do is, is maintain your business, okay? Remember the snowball. When it's going downhill, okay, it's growing, but you still gotta push. And it gets a little bigger, but you still gotta push it. You're still pushing, you're still pushing, it gets a, a little bigger and it goes faster but it's not quite enough, you gotta keep pushing. And then it gets up to a point where it's massive and it's basically going downhill on its own, okay? And just very little effort, very little effort. It just continues to, to grow exponentially, okay? So what I want you to visualize is that with your business, okay? So 100,000, 100,000, 100,000 because you're just resting on your past kinds of referrals. You gotta keep building. You gotta keep pushing that snowball down the hill to create a larger database and sphere, okay, to the point of the income that you want, and then you can just barely push, barely push, not really put much effort into it once you get to the size that you want. So if you wanna make 250, you gotta keep pushing and keep prospecting as you get up to the 250 mark in terms of the size of your database. Once you hit 250 in a year, you know, boom, I've made 250, now I can just concentrate on my database. Do that weekly email every week on the same day of the week forever. Stay in touch with everyone. And that's going to put you in a situation where your business is literally on autopilot. You do the weekly email. You do your $250,000 a year. You help all the people that come to you in terms of past clients and referrals. You maintain that $250,000 a year and you're happy as a lark because that's what you wanted. That was your goal. You wanted to make $250,000 a year. If you're like me and you want to make a million, I worked, 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 worked till I got my snowball up to a million. Once I had a million, I said, I'm good. I rested on my weekly email, stayed in touch with my sphere, gave that FE, and I still, I've made a million every year since 2017. A million, a million, a million. Now I could take it to 1.5. I could take it to two. If I wanted to get in there, get back in my business and, and start building it again, bringing more people into my database and continue building that, that snowball and pushing it further down the hill, pushing it faster, get, making it bigger. Yeah, I could do that, absolutely. However, I like the million with time on my hands to go build other businesses, which is what I'm doing, right? And so that is kind of a synopsis of why I'm doing what I'm doing and what you need to do to get your income level up where it needs to be. Now, maybe it doesn't happen as fast as you want, right? That's the problem. It doesn't happen as fast as you want, okay? Because you want 250 in year two, okay? Then you only make, you know, 125. Do you want it in year three, but you only make 156? Then you want it in year four, but you only make, you know, 220. You're getting closer, right? But it's not gonna happen when you want it. You have to just keep pushing. Do not care what your income is every year. Just know that as long as you're growing your database in terms of making your calls and you know building that you know sphere and database using FE, continue building, continue doing weekly email, continue talking to people, continue acquiring market share. Market share is this, not how many listings you have or closings compared to the rest of the market. It's what percentage of property owners in the area are you friends with and that you send a weekly email to? That's market share, okay? And the more of this market share that you have, the higher income's gonna be and the, and, and the higher you're gonna be up in the rankings of agents in your market. I'm also building a team all around the country and in Canada right now, so if you guys are interested in that at all, just email me, ricky at zerotodiamond.com. I've got hundreds of agents all over in all markets, so just email me, ricky at zerotodiamond.com. We'll set up a call and see if it's a good fit. And definitely send me a message on Instagram if you have any questions at all whatsoever. I'm here to help you get to the next level. All right, we'll see you guys on the next video. Till then, let's go.